I hope everybody, and uh, this one has to be the first. It has absolutely to be the first one out today. And the reason is because she's my original 70s, 1970 Triang Lord of the Isles Dean Single. And she is gorgeous. Now, originally, Triang released this in 1961, but this is a 97 gloss version. I'm going to back onto some coaches first. Oh, well, that was a bit sharp, but we're on, I think. Okay, let's drag them out. Yeah, nice one. Follow it through. <clears throat> now you can see the kind of control I've got over here. Here, these are hard to control normally. I'll explain all this to you a little bit later. But you can see I can bring her nearly to a stop, gently look, and then speed her up a little bit more. Bring her around to the front. So as I say, this is the gloss version, and this is a 1971. Great Western, of course, Great Western Railway. Absolutely beautiful, and this is a milestone when Triang brought it out with the original set of three coaches like this. There's the brake in the beautiful Great Western livery. That's the original set as it looked. Absolutely stunning. Brilliant. Okay, coming up now, we're staying with another Dean single here. Uh, and I'm pushing these coaches out with her. I'll explain to you why in a second or two. Now, as you can see, um, the coaches are actually maroon and uh, cream, or should we call them blood and custard? They are still clerestory roof. Uh, and if I'm, my memory serves me correct, I think these were only available in a set. Um, obviously, I've acquired them over time, and I've got six. And you can see there's another break on the other end there, which is not an uncommon thing to be seen. Sometimes you did have a break in reverse at one end, so not a big deal. But again, just getting around onto line two now and nice and steady for you. You clearly see that these are red and cream. As I say, I think they were only available in a, uh, only available in a set, sorry. Um, yeah, and of course, I've got these, these six. So yeah, cool. Looks like I, I've got two sets. Here she comes. Now this is not the locomotive I intended to pull them with and I will show you that in a second or two because uh, I'm going to change it for the one that I did want to pull them with but unfortunately she is a trying one, she's quite an old one um, and she doesn't like points very well, particularly siding points. So I've used uh, this Dean single here which is the uh, Royal Sovereign. This is a later Hornby one around about 2007, 2008, something like that I believe. And uh, as you say, you can see her quite close up here, look, she's lovely. But I'll just quickly, uh, in a couple of seconds, show you the one I'm going to put them with, like here, now. Right, this is the Drummond ex Caledonian. Uh, this is in an LMS uh, maroon, obviously. And you'll see she's uh, beautiful, mint condition, and she's carrying the running number of uh, 14010. There you go. Uh, and as I say, she's not very good on points on the side ends, but she's perfectly all right out on the main layout and the points on the main layout right and the third one out today we've got the same thing this is two is the a drummond um 422 and she's uh, coming around in lms black this time now of course in real life you wouldn't see two locomotives the same with the same number but of course we're on models here so we can do what the hell we like as you get her through, she's on the outside line, as you can, cl can clearly see, uh, right next to the LMS version there. Just bring her through gently. Again, same running number 14010. This is a later Hornby one, but again, by the way, there she is. So, with that, that's your first three. I think it's time to get the show on the road. And that we're going to do right here and right now. Okay, first off then with the uh, black LMS in some freight which I'll tell you about the freight in a minute there's something uh, slightly interesting about this so let's uh, watch it go through yeah nice and cool coming round yeah that looks good to me perfect okay it's Caledonian LMS 14010 with the blood and custard coaches okay so that's two of them on the go yeah good so far it's 
spiffing, as my friend Sam would say. <laughs> Okay, get across with the camera here. That brings us ready for Lord of the Isles, the Dean single. Or well, the first of them at least. Okay. Let that go by. Come on. Here we go. Come on, creep her up. Yes. Here she is, the original set. I tell you what, if you had that original set back in 1961 when it first came out, you had a rich uncle, or your parents were rich, or wow, it, oh, it was just something else when that came out. Like I say, it was a milestone for Triang to achieve that. And only two years later, in 1963, they brought out the Rocket, and that too was absolute milestone for Triang. Brilliant stuff. Anyway, not about the Rocket, it's about the Dean single and the Drummond single. Um, so yeah. Just let them go by and let them go round. And while that's happening, let me uh, hit you with a little bit, of, little bit of information. Let's do that. Right. So let's uh, let's check this out now. Look, the Dean single, which was also uh, called Class 3031 or 3031 or Achilles class. I think that's a correct pronunciation. Uh, of course, they were a steam locomotive, but they were built by the Great Western Railway, and they were built between. Oh, let me think, uh, 1891 and 1899, I think, because that's only an eight-year period. Uh, they were designed by a guy called William Dean, obviously, hence the term Dean Single, and they were built for passenger work. But here's an interesting point. The first 30 of them, uh, of the class, were built as a 222, and classed as a, the 301 class, 3001. These first eight were, were built as um, kind of... Uh, um, I believe that's the right term, is it? they were broad gauge, yeah that's correct, they were broad gauge um, but they were converted to standard gauge around about mid-1890 something too probably um, at the end of the broad gauge, uh, gauge running on the Great Western Railway I think uh, there was eventually another 22 built in late 1891 and early 92 and this time they were built as a standard gauge course now the fact they originally came out as um, two, two, two classes, you know, wheel arrangement kind of thing. Um, the problem with the was there was there was an accident. I, I, can't, I can't remember. I, I seem to think it's something to do with um, box tunnel. I believe that the front axle broke on one of them, and that would have been possibly. Oh goodness gracious me! Um, I think it was uh, 3021 Wigmore Castle, I think the number was 3021, yeah. uh, uh, she was hauling an express train and it derailed in the box tunnel when the front axle broke, uh, but this was uh, uh, well, sort of uh, because of the excessive weight being carried on that, uh, <coughs> excuse me, that single front axle. It was at this point that it was decided to replace the leading pair of wheels um, for a, a bogey, basically. That was the, the reason for this, to turn it into a, a 422. I seem to remember that uh, some of the early 222s were rebuilt as 422s. Um, I believe that was possibly, oh goodness gracious me, um, 1894, um, between June and December, if my memory serves me right, of 1894. I seem to think somewhere in the back of my mind that um, the ones that were built later um, actually had the cylinder size reduced from uh, 20 inches to 19 inches, I think that's correct, um, and I believe that was done with something to do with being able to work on the steam chest cover, I think, if my memory again serves me well, uh, uh, without having a problem to, get, uh, problem to get to it without any hindrance. And remember, I'm only talking about Lord of the Isles here on track one because she's the only Dean single you've seen at the moment, whereas the other two, of course, are the Drummond design single wheelers. Let's now just put two of these away. I'll take the third one off by hand, and again, I'll explain things as we go through the video. So, uh, backing up the uh, LMS black one here with the rake of freight coaches and the uh, long wheel base guards, van or brake as some people want to call them. Take her round past the pine forest again nice and steady. Get her back where she started from. 
Yeah, pretty easy to do really. It uh, seems to be all working out quite good at the moment. Anyway, no derailments as of yet, hopefully, he says. Yeah, slowly does it. Get that to break back to the uh, buffer stop. Come on, girl, come on. There we go. She won't go completely in the siding, but it doesn't matter. I'm happy with it at that. So there she is again, uh, LMS Black. And uh, we'll put Lord of the Isles away with the original three coaches, as you've already seen. And again, I'll point out, you can see I've got a pretty good control of her. Now, these trying ones, uh, the early trying ones, uh, which were the three in this video, being Lord of the Isles, Eighth Caledonian, Caledonian you're going to see coming up soon. Um, they have got really nippy motors. Well, it's not so much the motor, it's the fact that they've got a large drive wheel. But you'll see I can control mine and I have done a, an alteration to them which I'll tell you all about in a little while later. So bring her back where she started from. Come on, click onto the buffer stop. She's done and there we have it. The original set. Now, here um, you're going to see that I've uh, moved her onto the turntable uh, just to get her out of the way for the moment because we've not seen the end of her yet because there's a special bit coming and now again here are the three coaches you've just seen uh, pull in which is like I say the original set but look we've got one two three four more coaches now that means you are going to see her as a seven car rake uh, in the next section of the video and after that I've got an extra little bit to put on as well so look next up we got this I've already put it out on the line she's on line two and again I'm using uh, the LMS uh, 14010 beautiful Drummond single uh, again, I'm pulling her in reverse just for something different along with two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the four-wheel coaches because I think it looks great to do it that way. Right. Push them backwards. I want to get them further out and onto line one. So there they go. She's struggling a little bit because she does not have a rubber tyre and... Uh, the magnetism on her is not uh, working on nickel silver track, which of course we're on, are on here on line two and line three. But we've got there, and she's going to pull them round onto the, the third track here quite reasonably easy, as you can see. And again, I've modified this one to have a bit more control over her. So we'll just take them round. Yep. Swing across here coming through of course there we go yep we're gonna stop her there ready for the next one in this part of the video let's do it right now you saw Royal Sovereign just briefly earlier when I used it to pull the uh, sorry to push the coaches out of the uh, side in the far side on the layout but now you're going to see her in all her glory uh, doing the business this is the later one from Hornby this has got the new chassis completely although it does still have the same molded body so Royal Sovereign the Dean single pulling through now some more of the four wheel coaches and I believe this is another set of eight in uh, Great Western livery so they look fantastic look at that Beautiful! Oh yeah. Okay. Let's get them round. Yeah, I'm keeping it steady really. She's on her way, trust me. Here she comes, look. Yeah. Get her lined up with the LMS Drummond. And now onto the turntable. We haven't seen this yet. Another Drummond, but this is the original Caledonian. This is my original Triang one, numbered 123, and she's in mint condition. There she is, beautiful again. Okay, let's do this. 
no trouble whatsoever coming off the turntable there get it to a stop I need to change the point which I've just done and I edit it out and of course bring around backwards to the front for you all to see she is a mint one the only thing that is wrong with it is a slight bit of blue missing off the rear fixed axle as you can see in, in the uh, picture here so right now I've again I've deliberately uh, loaded her with some coaches uh, just to bring her around to the front for you carefully does it now of course she's on a super 4 track here so the magnetism on her is working really well and I chose to use the uh, the long corridor coaches on her so there she is one two three Caledonian Railway and here are your four coaches really gorgeous there's the brake let's get it around for you again I'm keeping it steady but as you can see she's here and she's going to stop ready with the other two ready for the next running session part of this video this time then we're going to start with the Caledonian single or the Drummond single if you want to call it that uh, along with the uh, coaches the matching Caledonian coaches which I've already shown you so we get her going here and there as you can see bringing her through here now line one of course now Royal Sovereign which is a Dean single yep super duper pulling the Great Western uh, short wheel base uh, four wheel coaches full set of eight of them Yeah, I'm happy with all of this so far. Okay, and uh, second time you've seen the LMS Maroon 14010, the Drummond single, but this time she's pulling the uh, rake of eight of the uh, beautiful LMS single wheel, sorry, single short wheel based uh, double axle um, LMS coaches. I've had a couple of whiskies, I'm sure you can probably tell. <laughs> Wicked! Oh, that was a great shot. That was brilliant. All three of them coming around together. That was brilliant. I love it when that kind of thing happens. Uh, obviously, you've probably noticed I've got them all going in the uh, same direction this time, clockwise. Um, again, just to be different, really. Now, in the first part of the video, I already told you all about the uh, Dean single. Uh, obviously, pretty much the basic information on them anyway. Uh, but I haven't told you anything about the Drummond single, which of course involves this one here, the Blue Caledonian, uh, the X Caledonian, which you're going to see any second now back there in, in LMS. And of course, the black one that you saw, uh, the LMS black you saw a little bit earlier in the video as well. So let me do that right now. There's certainly quite a lot I can tell you about the Caledonian single number 123, which you can see here, she's absolutely gorgeous. Um, she was a unique 422 and she was built by Nielsen & Co in 1886. She was designed by Dougald Drummond. Now, if I've said that wrong, you guys up there in Scotland, I think Dougald is the correct pronunciation. You need to tell me. Anyway, um, yeah, she, entered the, she came out of the works as number 3553, if I remember correctly. And I think she was built just as an exhibition locomotive. I'm fairly sure that's correct. Um, I think in 1913-14, oh, which is a few years after she was made, um, she was placed on the Caledonia Railway duplicate list and then renumbered to 1123. I do remember that actually uh, having read that somewhere. I know that when she entered the London, Midland and Scottish Railway Service in 1923, uh, the LMS renumbered it to 14010, which is exactly what you're seeing with the uh, 
uh, the black one and the maroon one a little bit earlier or as now. A classification was uh, called a 1P at the time. I also seem to remember that in the 1920s she was allocated to work in the director's saloon but it, uh, I think she was returned to ordinary service a few years later in uh, 1930. She was actually classed as the, the last uh, single to ever run on British Railways and she was withdrawn from service in around 1935, sounds familiar to me. Um, and like I say, she was the last single world express engine running in Britain, so brilliant stuff. She, uh, she was set aside for preservation and I can tell you now, uh, she was originally in the Kelvin Hall Museum. That's that was, I think that's up in Glasgow, I think. Uh, and then, then what was closed, she was moved to the Riverside Museum. Uh, again, which I think, I'm sure is in Glasgow. But there you have it. A little bit of info on the Caledonian Railway, the uh, drum and single or whatever you want to call it. Having given you most of the basic information of the drum and single, uh, I'm just going to uh, zip up a little bit now and let you watch them all going around for a couple of minutes before we move on to the next section. So, have fun watching the video. Well there you have it then, uh, hope, hopefully you enjoyed uh, looking at those three going round, so we're coming up uh, rather soon now to the next section of the video, so let's just get on with it. Now here I've already prepared these, what I've done, I've actually put the black LMS and the maroon LMS together as a double header, and uh, like I said earlier in the video, of course, you wouldn't get um, two locomotives with the same number put together, because that would never happen, but uh, we're on models, so we can do what the hell we like, and I've done that exactly right here, right now, the two of them together as a double header. Now, I'm going to explain something to you as this comes through. First of all, if you notice on the front bogey that the trailing um, axle is not turning very well, if not at all, because um, it's quite normal for these that this happens, and the reason is because it's a dreadful chassis. It always was right from the very beginning when Tryon brought it out back in 1961, and even the new ones, which you've, the first one that you saw, the black one, is a later one, that's just as bad. So uh, don't worry about that, because, like I say, it runs in the family. Now, these are beautiful green coaches, along with the concept wagons, which I was originally going to take off and put some different freight on, but I thought, no, I'll leave them on. Why not? It looks good. The six green ones, the uh, um, single axle ones, are absolutely fantastic. So I'll just bring her through for you. Have another quick look. Stop to there, and we'll move on in a second or two to the next one. I'll tell you more as things go along. Right, here we go. Now, Lord of the Isles, you've already seen in the first section. We know that. You saw her with the original three coaches. We know that. But you, I also pointed out to you that you were going to see her with a full rake of seven. And here we are doing it. Don't click. We're on.
So there they are. So let's just gently and gracefully pull them out. Like I said to you earlier, I've done a modification on my three triangles and uh, they're all very, very easy to control now. I will go through that with you a little later on, of course. So we'll bring her through and round to the front so you can see all seven of the coaches on her. Well, she is in all her glory again, as always. So we've got one, two there, and three, and four, and five, and six, and with the break, that's the seven, as promised. Absolutely fantastic. Now, this is little Peter, an 060T, uh, she a J class 94 I think that's right oh I hope I'm right with that because I've had a couple of whiskies I think it's right um, yeah and I know she's a little out of uh, context when it comes to the years I know she's a more of a 1950s I believe kind of loco but I don't care it's a model railway I'm having fun here but I need her to bring some coaches out because you're going to see something fantastic in a minute but I need her to get some coaches out for us first so we just bring her in here and get a nice gentle click we're on right pull these two out peter thank you now of course as you can see these are these are great western uh, um, brown and cream um, they are of course uh, cholesterol roof still but these are the later coaches which are the longer ones and certainly the more detailed corridor coaches as well we just need to get up past this first point I'll show you why in a minute. But there is fine. Cool. Good. Yep. Right. Push them in into the next side in because this set is actually 10 coaches and I could not get them all in one side in, of course. So I've done it in three side ins. So here we go. To grab the next few, which I think is about another four. And we're on there. That looks certainly for sure. Come on, Peter. Yes, she's got them. She's pulling them out. Fine. Yep. Now what I'm going to do here with, uh, with little Peter is bring them right round because the rest of the coaches are already on in the third siding on the back of the, let's say the locomotives that are going to pull the full set of ten, um, which you're going to see shortly obviously. So we just get these round. I want them round far enough to be able to bring the last few coaches out with the main locomotive. So uh, stay with me. She's doing a grand job. Beautiful little loco. You've never seen this one before. Another one in my collection which I've never shown you. So yeah, we need to stop there because the point's obviously not been changed. So which is cool. That's perfect. That's fine. Quick look at the coaches. As you can see, like I say, they are the corridor ones. But if all again. Right. The main locos and the rest of the coaches from the third side in this time. You're going to be absolutely amazed with these. Absolutely. We've got a, a beautiful Dean Single double header. And you've not seen these local motives in the video as of yet, so it's something new. Keeping things steady as always. Best way to do it. You get them round and couple right just here. And I'm sure that is going to be a perfect coupling. And it is absolutely spot on as you can see there right we'll bring them round and show you what's pulling them it's a, a fairly long set this as you can obviously see and there of course is the brake now, uh, I need to change the point, so stay with me, and I'll do that, and then you'll see what's happening next. And here they are. Beautiful pair of Dean Singles, double-headed. They look fantastic together. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, there's your first one, Duke of Edinburgh. Quick look at her. 
Uh, this, these are the later Hornby ones, by the way. Again, both of these are. And uh, Lorna Doon. And just, oh, amazing together. A great pair. They really are. Right, I'm going to bring round the middle line here for you to have a look at again. Uh, just to confirm what's actually happening on this uh, last section of the video. You've got the LMS Black um, drum and single which you've seen earlier in the video of course on 14.010 another quick look at her but this time she's coupled up with 14.010 again which of course is the LMS uh, maroon colouring or livery basically and now Lord of the Isles just to bring them to the front so we can see them all together before we do the final running session no point in dwelling on her because you have seen her but gorgeous she still is and then of course the two you've just seen Duke of Edinburgh and Lorna Doon so there you go there's five out there two double headers and a single but we're not at the end yet in fact nowhere near are you ready for a running session I think it's time to go for this I really do okay um, as I quite often say just to be a little bit different we'll start this section of the video um, on line three the outside line first so you can see the beautiful double header along with these uh, extra long cholesterol roof coaches a beautiful set of ten of them and it is absolutely amazing so okay we we'll round we go with those Let's bring them through the once time Now for your next double header, and as I said earlier, this is the two of them together. I know this wouldn't have been done in real life, but you know, 14010, the Drummond singles, two of them in LMS Black and LMS Maroon. Yeah, Pulling the combination coaches and uh, freight, I'll touch back in a second. I'm going to ask you a question about that as well. Get these through, and then we'll jump straight in onto Lord of the Isles which this time is pulling the full rake of seven of the beautiful original uh, Triumph coaches the shorter wheelbase cholesterol roof ones Great Western of course Yeah, that's great Okay, and um, while you're watching them go round, um, I'll talk to you a bit more about a few other interesting points. Now, I've already given you all the information on them in a technical, from a technical point of view, so there's no point in uh, trying to tell you anything else about that. If you want to learn more, go and Google it, of course. Um, but what I will tell you is a couple of interesting points. First of all, um, I've said to you that I have modified my Triumph 3, which is uh, the LMS Maroon. Uh, ex Caledonian, the Blue Caledonian which you saw earlier and Lord of the Isles which you can see there. Now I have done them because they are so fast because of the large drive wheel um, that they are a little bit hard to control sometimes they're a bit over the top, they're a bit of an overkill uh, but there is a modification that you can do to improve them immensely uh, and I'm thinking about perhaps doing a video to show you how to do that because I'm sure there'll be quite a few of you out there who do have the original trying models and uh, would like to improve them and I will possibly do that video if you'd like me to and show you how I've improved mine quite a lot here um, the combi here with the coaches and the freight now um, I can't call it a combi and um, I think there is a proper technical term for this but I'm not sure what it is and um, when you have a, a mix of passenger and freight together um, it's not mixed freight I'm sure it's not that and I'm sure it's not mixed passenger um, I, I need somebody to tell me if there is, there is a turn where you see a train pulling both passengers and freight together. So I need a bit of help on that one. Let me know. Thanks. Now, there you can see I've done a quick pit stop. And the reason I've done it on line one with Lord of the Isles is quite simply this. I've added in my final um, Cholesterol Roof coach, Great Western coach, and I've put her along with another double header. This time I've double headed Lord of the Isles with Royal Sovereign, which you saw earlier. And that makes the full rake of eight coaches with the brake on the behind the locos in reverse, which, like I said earlier, is not an uncommon sight. And so we've actually got running three double headers. Amazing! Now here, 
on the on the centre line with the freight there, these are the concept grain or, or operating wagons and a wagon, sorry. And I did have a, a, a request from a fellow YouTuber, a gentleman named Angus, if I had any of the concept wagons. And at the time I said I think I've got at least one. It turns out I had a, I had actually got two, uh, but I've since more uh, since then I've got eight more. So there's ten of them on this. And uh, Angus, I hope this is okay for you. And of course, we're getting to the end of it all now, so it's time to slow things down. So, here's Duke of Edinburgh, double-headed with, okay, Lorna Dune. Now we're going to bring in slowly the next stoppage, the pair of drum and singles. As you already know, the black one and the maroon one. So, for me, that's as good as anywhere. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And the last stoppage will be the next double header. So you've been looking at three double headers, all single wheelers. Here comes Royal Sovereign on the front, along with Lord of the Isles to a stop. They look amazing together. Now look, guys. This was going to be the end of the video look. Here's your six locos. Here you go. Lorna Dune. Duke of Edinburgh. Royal Sovereign. Lord of the Isles. And the pair of Drummond single wheelers there. But I suddenly realised that there was something else I needed to do on this video. It would have been sacrilege to do it without what you're going to see in a few seconds time. You've got two more minutes of fun. Stay with me. And here it is. I featured once before in part one of my um, Flying Scotsman story part one, yeah. Uh, this is my beautiful Sterling single number one, which was completely rebuilt for me by, by my friend Eric in Slovenia. Uh, originally she was a, a Backman Emily, as a lot of you probably know. And um, yeah, he made a marvelous job of a look. And I, I, this whole video is about single wheelers. and. I could not leave this one out. It, it would have been stupid to leave it out. So I'm going to shut up for a minute or two and let you watch the final bit as they all go round. So enjoy the show, guys. Enjoy it. Just look at all that detail. Just look at what a great job Eric made of her. Oh, she's lovely. So, we're virtually at the end now. I think uh, it's going to be time to slow things down. So. Maybe we just go through this one more time with the uh, beautiful turning number one there. And then we'll start to uh, fade everything. We'll go for a fade out on the end of this one. Bring around this once more. Yep. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the show. I'll see you all again soon.